Leo, this is your week ahead tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It is an energy reading, so please take this how and where it resonates in your life. If you love astrology like I do, I have a second YouTube channel dedicated 100% to astrology. It's called Astrology Motivation. Come on over there for your full weekly forecast. Every single week, I break it down for every, each of the 12 zodiac signs. And I hope you'll subscribe over there as well. Oh boy. <laughs> Shoot. Um, we'll get into it. Uh, this reading is timeless. So it comes to you when you're ready to receive it, when, you're, when you need to hear it. Um, please feel free to leave your comments below and let me know how this energy is impacting you. Um, if you want personal readings, I actually do do those. So please go to my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com to sign up because I do have a lot of open spaces uh, if you'd like. Um, and then, of course, you can also purchase the hats there too. Yes, I'm talking about it because I love them and because I'm proud of them. Get the black hats with the full spectrum. I love rainbows. I just do. That's why they're my logo. Um, you can get them in black. You can get them in white. And these are actually well-made, beautiful caps. So you'll have them for a long time. Um, yes, Leo is available. I just don't have one to represent here with me. Let's get into the cards. Um, this is why I say, oh God, because this card came out upright, but then it turned around. It turned around upside down. And we have the hermit. There's some shady shit going on. I could tell you this right now. Some work that's going on underneath the surface. Something that's been cultivating for a very long time. It is intentionally shady. It's intentionally deceptive. It's intentionally hidden. It's got to do with a hermit. It was intentionally kept away. Or maybe there are parts of you that you have intentionally kept away from other people. It's not that you're not aware of them. It's that you've intentionally kept them away from other people for whatever reason. Now... Whatever the situation is, whether it's internal or external, and I think this is more internal because the hermit and uh, both Pisces and the and um, both the moon and the hermit, Virgo and Pisces energy, this is stuff that you've kept in that you haven't wanted to say. Shit that you've got to say that you have suppressed. This is communications or information that has been intentionally repressed or, op or um, suppressed because for whatever reason. I don't know, strategic reason, strategy, strategery, that, you know that word, um, that's what it is, and I think there's an objectivity or maybe a strategy here with what hasn't been told, I don't know if this is consciousness or confronting it, finally being able to speak about it, or even in some ways get counseling for it, or this is an intentional strategy. So why has the universe brought this to my intention, this intentional strategy? Why does it have to do with Leo? Why does it matter? Uh, why are you telling me about this, God? Um, because it's causing a lot of dissonance and it's causing a lot of fights. It's also causing a lot of clogs. A lot of people have been backed down or blocked because of this. And it's causing a lot of tension. It could even have been this sense of, um, this sense of, um, resent, resentfulness because you're always getting resistance. There's, there's something here where you're always getting resistance. It's got to do with not wanting to say something or intentionally holding back information because, oh, I don't want to talk about it or I don't want to say it or somebody doesn't want to say it, but it's definitely known. And I, I want to understand the presence of the Queen of Wands here because is she just helping you understand what's going on or is this a strategy? This is definitely a sense of intentional stuckness or intentional... Um, um, oh my God, my words are just failing me. Intentional, not distraction, but being, being intentionally um, obtuse. Being intentionally, like not being intentionally large and not getting to the details. Why? Somebody stuck between a rock and a hard place, not being able to find a way forward, not being able to make decisions or know the answers. King of Swords is here. 
that's definitely somebody's finally going to make a decision and somebody's finally gonna decide something make a judgment on something or figure out what the heck is going on here that is really interesting what does leo have to do with this what does leo have to do with this why is this all about leo what does leo have to do with this scorpio that's what does leo have to do with this it's that pluto energy you're going to be the conduit it's almost like you're the mouthpiece pluto is working through you to burst this shit wide open you're going to be the one to call this out and call attention to it um there's got to be some shift of consciousness and some change there could also require a change in your life a change that you know is coming and now it needs to happen um this is just about your life evolving um in the direction that's supposed to you know like your butterfly moment but there could be something in the network here i feel like this is like news coming down the pipeline so stop let me let me understand why is the moon card in reverse here what what is what is this information oh fuck. this is the tower it's being repressed because it would crack everything apart and break everything down if it were spoken and that's what's about to happen a total freaking breakdown so i need to know exactly what this is the tower means you don't have any control over this situation. It's just going to happen. It's going to happen because it's going to happen. And you know what came next? It's either representing a Gemini communication, like actual finally being able to speak to somebody, say it, just say it, um, or a love appear, a love, a love affair. So it could be the complete breakdown of a relationship. It could be this tension has been building for a while and ultimately something just cracks. It could also be a love that comes in and cracks you open and breaks your heart in the best possible ways and allows you to finally open up. Whatever this is, this is a life-changing love affair or attraction that comes in and the main purpose for it is to change you. That's what it is. So let me get the details. What, what is the moon card? What is being kept? Stop. Yeah, this is once again the two of cups. What is being kept? Some sort of worry or some sort of attraction that is really frustrating or making somebody sad. I don't know if there was cheating here or just this sense of anxiety around the connection. So what is this Pisces energy here? Um, what? Stop. 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 I need to know what is the the moon in reverse moon in reverse please tell me what the moon in reverse is what is the moon in reverse this is the queen of swords why is the queen of swords what is the moon in reverse it's coming out again it's exactly what this is a f like finally realizing what is this the queen of swords the death card the strength card and the five of pentacles it's almost like finally being able to recognize or realize that something isn't good here and there's there's like bankruptcy like there's no more money so it may not just be the lovers it could be financial like what we've desired and all that stuff is just breaking down and cracking this sense of realizing that the money's not there anymore and this huge anxiety and worry like maybe i'm not going to be able to take care of the people that i love because there's some sort of major breach or breakdown that is happening and maybe you haven't been talking about it because you're worried about it and you don't want to worry other people but ultimately this is your worry that you have been sort of that's kind of going to make you break so what is this tower what is this tower what is the tower what happens what is the tower something with with finances or how so this is the king of cups this is in reverse so this is legitimately feeling weak feeling vulnerable this is this is also somebody who feels um 
being like being emotionally distant or maybe it's been creating emotional distance in you so you haven't wanted to decide or you've been sort of ignoring somebody's been ignoring either their feelings or somebody else's um, because they just don't want to have to make a decision maybe this is about a sale or yeah it could be about a sale like money that that you need to come in um it could also be i don't know why is the ten of pentacles here something to do with a house or a home that's the tower this is really weird all of these keep flipping the knight of cups is also in reverse <laughs> so this is somebody who could be caused a lot of depression there's just a lot of depression it's like it's it's causing you depression because you're trying to resist it you need to let this crash happen <laughs> because the crash is going to fucking happen and it is what it's going to be it's got something to do with financials <clears throat> the king of cups is in reverse is somebody who is really going through it somebody who is like it's just it's just making you really sad feeling like completely like i'm never going to get selected i'm never going to get chosen right <laughs> like something like that okay so what's what is leo supposed to do about it yeah, something that you've wanted since you were a kid. It's just that somebody, either somebody else took control over the money or somebody has undermined you the whole time by, you know, having a grip on your finances as well. Um, and somebody's really been screwing you, especially in the ways of that you love and care about people and you've made yourself vulnerable and susceptible somehow through loving and caring about people. And honestly, somebody just robbed you blind. So this tension has been building because in some ways you know it, okay? What could we do about it? Um, you ready? The moon is here to answer you. Okay, what is Leo supposed to do about it? Stop. Luck is on your side. You can feel this crash and burn happening, can't you? There's nothing you should do about it. It's going to work in your favor. Hold your vision. And this is the leap of faith that you have to go through because everything around you, you know it's crumbling. But the crumbling is what's going to clear room so your target is clear and you know exactly where to aim. Hold your vision and keep work, walking forward to what you were doing because there's a crumbling that's going to happen. And it's going to take shit out of your way. It's just going to be real scary. Because you're going to feel like everything, you're crumbling with it. I know. And it's, it's legitimately just aim your arrow and shoot. We have two of swords. You're aiming in the dark. You feel stuck between a rock and a hard place. There's a, there's a, there's a conscious, you're not going to be able to make this decision with intellect is what it's saying. It's not about intellect. If you try to make sense of it, it's not ever going to make any sense. Okay, so what does this mean for Leo this week? I think I really need to know and, and, and direct them somewhere because they know how tumultuous it is. Number one, the devil is here. Restrictions, restraints, nose, discipline. Yeah, being left behind. Somebody that's rejected you or tied you up so much that you can't move. That's what it's going to feel like. It is going to feel like no, 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 no. And a no. You're just rejected. Or um, maybe even it's in some ways leaving behind the fears, leaving behind the addictions. But I think this is more being left behind or feeling like your hands are tied because of all these obligations. And, and that's what's really piling down on you this week. And that's it? That's all Leo has to expect from this week? What's cracking open? What, what's cracking open? Just shit? What, it, what else have you got? No. Your ships are about to come in. How? 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 
how slow and some, something about family money that has been very slow to come to you or by investing slowly but surely in your family. <laughs> Let's get deeper into this, guys. You need to. I will see you guys in the extended. The link is down below in the description box. I pin it to the top of the comment section. If you're watching this on television, please grab your phone. All those links are available to you. I'll see you guys there.